and that's giving me 894. Now if you look at what the voltmeter is reading, 0.897. Alright, recently I posted up on Reddit uh, a waveform that I captured. Well, it wasn't really a waveform, it was just some pulses. You know, up and down, up and down. And um, this is what I used to do it. Now, what's in here is just a Tensi 4.1. Uh, some BNC plugs and what I've done is I'll send a command from the computer asking what the analog pin voltage is and I'll take it back to the computer and record it and so on and so forth and um, that's that's basically all the code you can up in the cards right now I'll link two videos if you use those two videos you can and use them together you would be able to do something similar so and then ADC can measure zero to the ceiling of the ADC chip's voltage tolerance. So in this case it's 3.3 volts or if you've got a Uno it's a, or a Mega or something like that, the ADC ceiling's 5 volts for that one. So you can't measure negative volts. So you can't reverse them. So if you reverse them you'll damage your chip eventually. And if you to overcome that and you want to be able to read the negative volts plus the positive volts you need to bias the circuit. So what you can actually do is add some DC to it and you can lift the, the lift up the zero point. So effectively you'll get a negative wave and a positive wave all in the positive realm. But the problem you've got is you limit your ceiling. So your ceiling is still 3.3 volts. So your peak to peak can only be 3.3 volts maximum. If you want to measure a sine wave, a sinus order wave, so an up and down, up and down, what you can do is you add the bias, you lift your zero point. Now once you've lifted your zero point, the whole thing is above, and then you can check it. But And if you know the bias you put in, you can mathematically take it out. So you can find your zero point, you can find your high point, you can measure your peak to peak, and so on and so forth. This is how I do the biasing. Alright, now this looks messy, but it's because I'm limited by what's available uh, around me to be able to build the circuit. You know, resistor sizes, capacitor sizes, and so on. Now, what you can see here, one side I've got an AC signal coming in. Alright, the other side I've got a DC signal coming in. Now, across the A, the uh, the AC signal can pass through the capacitor, but the DC signal cannot. So that allows me to put them together and lift one up. Now, I'm going to link in the cards right now an awesome video, and it's actually a really good channel of where I learnt this. Alright, so that's up there right now. And I'll show you how this gets connected with the other stuff. I have a function generator, DC source. I've got my Tensi doing the analogs. I have what the waveform looks like. Now I've got, it's a bit hard, what the RMS value is of the, DC, of the function generator. Now if you look at what I've captured, remember the video as I earlier mentioned helps you build this. You can see that's the sine wave compared to that sine wave. So you can see it's off zero pushed up. Now if you have a look at these figures, that's based on what this, what's in the spreadsheet. So I've picked, that's, uh, I've picked a, a small portion to calculate off the max, the min. Um, then I, what I've done is I've minus the min from the max because I've got the DC offset so I've taken it up from zero. So I've taken it up from zero 0.338. Now that's the bottom of that. So what I've done is then I've divided it by 2 and that's given me my V peak value. So that's given me what that would be from its known zero point or its unknown zero point. Then I've calculated the peak over square root 2 and that's given me 894. Now if you look at what the voltmeter is reading, 0.897, I personally think that's pretty good for some uh, Backyard measurementing. Now I'll show you what happens if I adjust the voltage. So I'm going to adjust the voltage down. Now this is probably not good to be doing while it's all plugged into my computer, uh, my Tensi. 
So I'm going to adjust it down. You can see it drop. So adding it, I can bring it above. If this video was interesting or you want more information along it, consider subscribe and hit that like button. The next video I'm going to build a circuit to put this on a PCB and I'll show you how I'm going to build that one. Alright, stay tuned for the next video.